Oh, it was hard. It yeah, was he, hard. He was ready. And that boy say, heard a nigga tight name, Mr. Mike. Had to catch a flight. It's only right. Heard a nigga tight name, Mr. Mike. Had to catch a flight. It's only right. Stepped off the plane. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Man, I just, like I said, I had so much love for the group. And, you know, you got a lot of fans out here who love that movement. Yeah. You, I'm one of them. We could have done, done a Suave House reunion by now. Y'all never done one. Boys ain't bossed up. Y'all the main actor. All y'all had to do was boss up, reach out to me. Y'all brought, they brought Tila to the thing, but that's the Memphis connection. I seen that. I had me and my DM like, Mike, man, we knew you was going to be there, bro. We was waiting for you to come out. They never reach out. You know and the song's hard that y'all have. Yeah, but it's all good. Hey, everybody got their time, bro. Let me ask you this. You and Ice Cube, man, Wicked Ways. Adidas gonna let his khaki sag. Mr. Mike and Ice Cube, fresh braids and rags. How many Wicked Ways? Like, when you guys uh, uh, done that song, just run me down through there on even how would you even know. Uh, uh, this guy's from California. He lives on the West Coast. Your music is here in, in Houston and in, you know, the South. How does that happen? How does that West, West Coast South thing happen during that time? I just happen to be like, I'm a worldwide mob figure. So I can, you, you, it's times when you ain't gonna know if I'm from New York, if I'm from Texas, if I'm from California. So people just automatically took that I was from Cali. Mm. Oh really? And me and Cali had a certain vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, um, wonder why would they think that you from? Because the thing is that when I think about somebody being from Cali, especially listening to their music, I'm thinking about your style, the way how you rap. I get maybe because the way I dress, because I always wore dickies and, and oh, bandanas okay. and stuff. You know what I'm That's saying? probably why. Yeah, kind of the two things they look at. They look at the dressing and yeah. style of music. I always wore dickies and bandanas and and stuff, guns and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, when you think about uh, just Ice Cube, how was it in the studio? You know, I detail everything. So how was it just working with him during that time? And, 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 and uh, did y'all, you couldn't send verses like they do now, mm -mm. but you had to be in the studio. Y'all had to listen to the music. So the came to the studio. Everybody's in here and on this, which, hey, it's Ice Cube, so we ain't tripping. Mm hmm me, I can't just do it like that. So I'm finna go way to the other side of the studio and post up with me and my okay. while y'all ride. Okay. Right? Who all was there that day? Everybody. This is what I'm telling you. You talking about uh, Eight Ball, Snoop. MJG? Uh, all Th throughout the day, they didn't. Everybody didn't hung around. In and out. Tony Draper. He, he riding with Draper and them because he didn't came from Cali. He coming. We now we finna go in the studio and do a song. Me and him. So I let them do what they had to do. You know what I'm saying? Somebody knock on the door. Oh, boy, hey, Mike. Q say, come where you at, man? Come on, man. He calling for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I came down there, came over there and whatnot. It was it was cool. The, the experience was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the dude was like intense with his rhyme. And then when I went and studied with him, he was in the studio with a young Pac. I said, man, that's where he got that from. Because mm. Tupac yeah. was animated and th that boy Q wrote his shit and had his paper and he got up to like, before he went in the studio, like most of the right they shit, like, okay, I'm ready, man. Then go in the booth. The nigga wrote his shit and practiced it real quick. Like he was in the booth, like right there in front of me. Like, like he was, I was like, yeah. And the shit I had wrote some shit, I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, going to get this shit, bro. Hell no. So make a step again, up. I'm confessing on Boss Talk 101 <laughs> that the verse y'all hear with me and Ice Cube was not the song that was not my first verse. Q made me crumble it up and come with some other shit, man. Come harder, man. Yeah, because he was intense and he was ready. Oh, it was hard. It yeah, was he, hard. He was ready. And that boy say, heard a nigga tight name, Mr. Mike, had to catch a flight. It's only right. Heard a nigga tight name. Mr. Mike had to catch a flight. It's only right. Stepped off the plane. Yeah, he still did. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. So, and, and I like that, man. The fact that the, the way that, man, our brothers came together back then, and, and, and people don't really like to give it just due, but that was a West Coast uh, South connection, and I, I think that's hard. That's hard, man. It was hard, man. man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.